In this class, we are going to learn how to handle the errors in Oracle integration. I have created a very basic integration over here wherein I am accepting a message from the user or the name and it is passing this message or the name to one more child integration and getting the greetings and returning the response back. Let me just show you how my integrations will look like. Error handler integration is the one which is calling greeting message integration. Now let me first run and show you how my first integration that is error handler integration will look like. In the request it is asking for a name. I will tell Umar and click on run. So what it will do is it will call our child integration and get this message hello Umar have a nice day and it will show the message success. So that is what this integration is doing. Suppose you can consider this as your integration is calling some third party integrations or APIs and what if that API is down? What I will do is I will turn off this integration means I will deactivate such that when this integration is making a call to our child integration at that time this integration will not be active and it will error out. Let's see how our integration will behave in this case. Click on run. If you see, we are getting this kind of error message. So this is kind of ugly thing what we see over here. Usually the user will be expecting what went wrong because in production there will be n number of integrations which are running simultaneously and the users cannot track each and every integration. If you want to handle this error like whenever something errors out, you want to send the email notification or log into the database, then we will see how to do the same in this class. So this integration is a very basic integration which is accepting the request that is name in the input parameter, calling one API and returning the response. Suppose your support team needs a notification to be sent or they want to see this kind of errors to be logged in some database. Then in such cases, we will see how to do the same in this class. So if you see over here on the right top corner, there is a section called as view global fault handler. Any error which happens within the integration, suppose you have not used the scope in order to handle the errors. Scope concept we will consider in the next class in detail. But assume that there is something called a scope. Within the scope, if you put this kind of actions like calling API, then you can handle the errors right within this integration flow. Suppose your integrations are already built by someone and you are unable to modify it, then in such cases you can go for global fault handler. So by default, if you are not handling any errors over here and any error happens, the flow will automatically be routed to over here, global fault handler. In this case, when our integration was deactivated, our integration was unable to call this API. So in that case, what it will happen is it won't go to next step that is map trigger and send the response back. Instead, once it sees it is failed, it will directly make the flow to go to the view global fault handler. Click on this. So right now, we are not having any kind of fault handling mechanism. These are the default actions which Oracle will add. Suppose we want to send a notification, we will add the notification over here. Suppose if you want to log this message in the database, then you can log the message as well. So let us populate this email ID. Regarding notification action, we had studied in detail how to send the notification in our course earlier. Coming to the prompt, we can give some dummy from no reply at bnum.com and subject this is sent from global fault handler within the quotes I will provide done next coming to the body I will use some body as this is a message body from global fault handler done so in your case, if you want to log a message into the database, then you can find the database connections and you can map. Like how we map any other database connections, we can do the same over here. I think there is error. We have to surround it with the code. Let me add the code over here. Done. So once you have configured all the connections in your 
global fault handler you can go back to the normal flow that is by just clicking on this icon again that is view main integration click on this it will take the flow back to the main integration so as soon as any error happens in this flow that is in the main integration flow the action will automatically be shifted to global fault handler that is over here then it will execute all the actions what you have over here in this flow let me quickly activate this integration i have activated my integration so this integration will be calling this greeting message in since we have added the notification action that is to the global fault handler our support team should be notified saying our integration failed now let's test this integration give somebody and click on run so here the error message we cannot control as of now in our next class we will show how we can control this error message by handling the errors that is by modifying this payload accordingly now here in the audit you can see whenever the error happened the flow went to the global fault handler and then it executed this notification action and it has sent the message to the email address what you have configured similarly if you have added the database action then it will log the message in the database like how it has sent the message to the notification that is the email so like this we can handle the errors that is for notification purpose in the global fault handler here is the message which is sent from our integration so this is the message subject which we had given this is sent from global fault handler and this is the body so this is how we can handle the errors from the global fault handler similar like that if you want to call any other api or in turn call the any other function that we can do similar like how we have added the notification in the email notification suppose if you want to send the exact error message or the error details or the reason or the root cause for the error which had happened at the runtime in the integration then we will see how to do the same now so if you go to the view global fault handler over here and open the notification action so when the flow comes to the global fault handler oracle will automatically create one variable which will hold all the details suppose if i show you this over here let me minimize so execute means we will see what details user has sent while invoking this integration as my integration is exposed over rest api i am seeing this message structure if you see over here there is a variable called global fault object so here oracle will store what was the error code what is the root cause for the error that is reason and the detailed message of the error like the stack trace of the error so if you want to send this in the email notification you can just drag and drop you can in case of the concat function in order to append this text that is saying so and so integration failed comma and the reason like you can concat with these things so all are the string similarly you can make use of the assign action and you can make use of this global fault object variable which is available within the fault handler so you can map and you can store the exact error details in the atp database table or in the notification body you can create a table view in the html and you can send the error details reason and the code as well also this variable which oracle has created that is to get the error code message and the reason will be available in the mapper as in action in every place wherever you are able to view the variable section in our next class we will learn instead of making the flow to global fault handler we want to handle the errors right within the main integration flow like whenever it sees invoke failed it has to return a message saying it failed and because of so and so reason we will learn how to do the same in our next class Thank you.